so guys it's really simple shift plus a mesh let's add a cube tap to edit mode press 1 to vertex selection let's go to x-ray mode press a to select everything let's bring the cube up Control plus R for loop cut. Enable the auto merge vertices. Select the upper vertices. Press S to scale. Then numpad 0. Then you can disable it. Select the lower vertices. Press S to scale. Scale them down. Middle vertices. Just give it a shape like a candle flame. So for that, Control plus R loop cut. Let's move it down. Single left click. Press S to scale. Seems like it's okay. Tap to object mode, select the object, go to modifier tab, then search for subdivision surface modifier. Let's change both of them into 3. Now tap to edit mode again, select the upper vertices, let's bring it up. Seems like it's okay. Tap to object mode, right click, shade smooth. Now go to modifier tab again, then search for displace modifier, then click on new. Now click on this button at the corner. Now click on type. Then search for cloud. Seems like you already getting some shape. Let's get out of X remote. Let's increase the size. Seems like one is okay. Now shift plus A. Let's add a empty. Let's name it fire controller. Let's bring it at the left side. Now select the object again. Go to modifier tab. Then under displacement, change coordinate from local to object. Then select the empty object or the fire controller. Now if we select the empty and try to move it, we can use this to animate the fire. Now select the object, go to material tab, click on this plus icon for new material, then click on new, let's name it tutorial fire, let's go to material preview, let's add a light source, shift plus a, light, point light. Let's select the object and go to shading tab. These are our default shading nodes. Now click on add, then search for Fresnel. Then search for diffuse BSDF. Shaded to RGB. Then add gamma node. Color ramp. So we are done with adding nodes. Let's add the fractional output to the principal BSDF color. Principal BSDF output to the shader to RGB. Shader to RGB color to the gamma color. Then the gamma output color ramp fact. And the color ramp color output will be connected to principal BSDF emission and the base color. So this is what we got so far. Now come to color ramp. Then change from linear to constant. Now click on this plus icon to add more colors. So single click, another click. So now we have four colors here. Let's select the first one and give it the darkest color. You can find cool color combination at color.adobe.com. So let's select this one. This seems like the darkest color. Select this color, select it, then click on this bar. Then go to hex button, then click here, then control V paste this one lighter than the first dark color so select the next one then let's let's select this one let's select the first one select the bar control v paste then select the middle one let's change it to white bring these three closer to each other you can see the changes here So this is what we have. Now let's change some node setting for have some better result. Fresnel. Let's lower it down. 0 0.95 seems like okay. Then go to gamma. Let's bring it down. 0 0.5. So this is what we have so far. Now select the cube. Then go to modifier tab. Then select on this button. Let's change the size and the depth. 0 0.54 let's change the depth so this is what we have so far if you want you can replace principal bsdf with emission it's up to you which one you want to use left side principal bsdf and right side emission 
so guys we are almost done let's add a light source for our fire shift plus a light point light let's give it like 50 let's name it fire light select our object then go to color ram then select the light color click on the box go to hex copy this color then select the fire light S click on the color box go to hex paste the color so the light up same color as our fire shift plus a let's add a plane and see the light effect so guys as you can see that we have our fire now you can go to animation tab let's select the fire controller or our empty object let's move it around here press on press on i then location to add location keyframe for our empty object let's move it to the last frame let's select the empty let's move it on j axis again press on i then the location again select both location right click interpolation linear now let's see the animation select the fire light then turn off the shadow now let's animate the light go to first frame select the fire light click on this dot to add a new keyframe go to frame number 20 let's drop it down to 30 again keyframe 24 40 keyframe 30 20 40 again go to first frame select all of them press S to scale 40 50 let's select them and just copy and paste them let's see what we have so far and the last thing if we select our object and scale it down you see that the details is gone but we still have our animation so to add details again select your fire then go to this texture button then go to size and reduce the size so our details is back but the fire is little bit faster if you want to make it slower you just need to animate it let's go to first frame so this is the empty location for the first frame let's change the position here press on i then location let's see see the fire flow speed is fixed so guys see you on the next tutorial